Microsoft's Majorana 1 chip created massive headlines for quantum computing, but scientists are already casting doubts on whether their data actually supports their claims about Majorana particles and topologic materials. But don't worry, us cats are gonna teach it to you from the very beginning so you can finally understand what the heck everybody's even talking about. Solid, liquid, gas. Those are the three states of matter that kids learn about first. Liquid, that's us. Cats are liquid. Then there's plasma. Neon signs, aurora borealis, lightning, and the sun and the stars themselves, those are all plasma. But today, the big news is a new state of matter, topologics. It's kind of a big deal for quantum computers. Technically, they're not new. Topologics were theorized in the 1970s, discovered in the 2000s, and the Nobel Prize in Physics went to the topologic state of matter researchers in the year 2016. Solids maintain their volume and shape. Liquids, like me, we maintain our volume, but we change shape to fit our container. Gases change volume, and they expand to fill their container. Now, plasmas are most similar to gases since they expand to fill their container, but since they consist of charged ions, plasmas can be manipulated with electric or magnetic fields and can be concentrated or formed into loops or spirals, which gases can't do. If you want to consider plasma as a special kind of gas, then topologics are a special type of solid one example, bismuth telluride, can be found in sheets or crystals and are large enough that you can hold them in your paw and they're stable at room temperature. There's three key properties that separate topologics from solids. Exotic edge states, quantum properties, and their structural resiliency. A regular hunk of metal, when you apply electricity to it, the electricity spreads everywhere in the metal, in every direction, edges, middle, everywhere but a topologic insulator is crazy. Only the surfaces and edges conduct electricity. The middle is still an insulator. Imagine using a defibrillator on a person to restart their heart, but the electricity only zoomed around the skin. It couldn't penetrate through the body to reach the heart itself. That's what topologic materials are like. Topologics have two important quantum properties. First, electrons act like they have no mass. So they're more like photons or light waves, making them way faster than normal and makes it so that electrical resistance is very low. They're referred to as Dirac fermions, essentially a relativistic electron. Second, Majorana particles. Microsoft's Majorana 1 chip was made out of the best element ever invented, indium, named after me. Of course, the Majorana chip itself was named after Italian physicist Ettore Majorana, who first hypothesized the existence of Majorana fermion back in 1937. Here's the crazy thing about Majorana particles. They are their own antiparticle. So they sort of behave like both matter and antimatter. Normally, antimatter and matter can't coexist. They destroy each other. But Majorana particles can exist within topologic materials, since the unique structure of topologic materials enforces a spatial separation between the particles. For our next video, we get a choice of two snacks, either a chicken lollipop or kitty beef jerky. But it's your choice. Leave a comment with your vote and we'll grab a few comments and paste them in our next video. And you could be a mire on a particle with me. It'll be like you're the one giving me my snack. The third feature of topologics, they exhibit extraordinary physical resilience to damage. If the material is scratched or there's an impurity or a physical defect, all those exotic edge states and quantum properties still work. It's very hard to damage a topological state material. I mean, if you hit it with a hammer, it's still gonna shatter just like any other solid material. But at the atomic quantum level, small vibrations or impurities 
won't affect its behavior. So this is gonna be a really hard demo to do because Indy loves headphone cords. But this regular set of headphones is like a regular solid. And if I put it gently in my pocket, you're gonna see that in less than a minute, it's gonna become super tangled. This other set of headphones is like Majorana particles, where I've tied several knots in between the strings, and you're gonna find that this little bit of disorder that's intentionally introduced actually protects it from bigger damage. So again, I'm just putting it in my pocket here for a second, and let's pull out the first ones and see. Just from putting it in my pocket, taking it out, we've got it is definitely tangled, we got a knot in here. But if I take out the Majorana particle headphones, you can see that it came out totally fine without any further damage. In regular computers, hard drives, SSBs, RAM, they're all just different methods of storing either zero or one in transistors. And transistors were definitely not Alien technology recovered from the Roswell crash and funneled to Bell Labs by the U.S. military as part of a massive cover-up. Not true at all. Wink. Instead of only zero or one, quantum computers store any decimal value between zero and one. A quantum bit, a qubit. Building a quantum computer isn't hard. It's protecting the computer that is the hard part. Quantum computers are like the bubble boy of technology. They are immensely fragile. It must be Italian. A typical quantum computer today is on a vibration isolating table, inside a vacuum chamber, inside a Faraday cage, inside a concrete bunker. All this to try and isolate it from, well, Pretty much everything is toxic to a quantum computer. A single radio wave or background gamma radiation, a cosmic ray proton, thermal radiation from a human body, even a teeny weeny tiny vibration so small a human wouldn't even feel it, any of these things can disrupt a qubit and change its reading, causing an error in its calculation. But Microsoft's approach is a little bit different. So it's not definitive, but they think they've created a topologic superconductor that takes advantage of Majorana particles, which are way less fragile than other qubits. The usefulness of Majorana particles is that information is stored across both of them in a unique way. It's not exactly like a duplicate with the same information stored in both places, but it's not exactly like half of the information is stored in each place either. It's more like the shared relationship between the Majorana particles is the information being stored. And the only way to destroy the information is to destroy both particles simultaneously. If one of the particles is damaged, disturbed, something that would cause an error in a regular quantum computer, the other partner particle, the other partner particle essentially helps it remember so the information isn't lost. Serenity and me are Majorana particles. Our relationship is defined by the single thought, it's always snack time. If Serenity is napping and I pull out a snack, she wakes up immediately. And if I get distracted with work, she will remind me by loudly meowing to remind me. So the only way the information would be lost is if we... Luckily, the topologic material structure enforces a spatial separation so the two Majorana particles, which are their own antimatter, won't destroy each other. Wait, do I have to do the whole rest of the video myself? All right, Indy, it's your time to shine. So why should you care about this development in topologic materials and Majorana particles? Truth is, you probably shouldn't. There are actually lots of new states of matter you've never heard of or think about. The own solid liquid, gas, and plasma, there's Bose-Einstein condensates, superconductors, superfluids, time crystals, 
and a, a bunch of others that mostly nobody but engineers directly working with them actually care very much about. This is an advancement for sure, but it's not the big one. You will not find quantum computers in your local Best Buy anytime soon. The Majorana 1 chip still requires temperatures close to absolute zero to function, just a few millikelvin. So Microsoft's news does let engineers move on to the next step of engineering, but for us regular cats, this won't make snacks any cheaper, so what good is it? Who wrote this script, Price of Snacks? Must have been Serenity, 